starting a new career at this age when all my friends, actually I'm going to cry in a minute, I'm so grateful to Korea really for giving me these opportunities, but it's so thrilling, it's really exciting. Hi there, my name is Rachel Lee Moore. I come from the USA and I've been living in Korea almost two years now. My current job, believe it or not, and I find it hard to believe myself, is... Are you ready? Da -da -da. I am working as an actor and a model and a musician in the Korean entertainment industry. Actor, model, model. So that's my new career that I've started here in Korea. I have to say that I absolutely love this job. Today, I'm going to talk about what it's like to be an actor, model, and musician and work in the Korean entertainment business. So number one, I will reveal my age in July 1954. Okay, I'll let you do the math. <laughs> but I'm in my 60s. At this age, I find myself with a new career as an actor and a model. I have to say, starting a new career at this age when all my friends are actually retiring, and I'm sure here in Korea it's also retirement age, maybe in your 50s, 60s. My friends are retired and they're spending time with their grandchildren, with their families. They've come to a new kind of lifestyle, of a relaxed kind of lifestyle, and I am suddenly working as an actor and a model. I mean... <laughs> Actually, I'm going to cry in a minute because I'm so grateful to Korea, really, for giving me these opportunities to start this kind of a career. I don't know if you know Betty White. She's an actress in America, and she's probably late 80s by now, maybe 90, and her career really took off when she was older. And in some ways, I kind of think, well, am I Betty White now? <laughs> it's crazy, but it's so thrilling. It's really exciting. So number two, I did sign on with the company. I wasn't sure about that, but I did sign a contract. My first shoot, I was uh, brought in to participate in a music video as an extra, but I felt like a celebrity, I have to say. <laughs> we met at a location and then I was asked to get into a van with a few other actors that were gonna act. And I was like, wow, this is like the real thing, you know? Like I looked around in the van and there's like this, you know, video screen and darkened windows and all of that and everybody sitting comfortably and I just thought, this really happens. <laughs> like you see it in the movies, you see it in the dramas, you know? Celebrities getting into the van. And I thought, it's happening. This is me in a van being driven to a location like a celebrity. And not only that, we got to the location and uh, suddenly we were sent to a room. We, you know, we met the directors. That particular music video, we were, had four wardrobe, wardrobe changes and each wardrobe was specifically made for me. That's amazing. So we had to do four of that. We needed to do makeup. They were makeup artists. I had personal assistants. <laughs> I've made it. I'm a star. <laughs> I was just an extra, but I was treated like an absolute celebrity and I thought that was amazing. At this age, here we go. New career. We're off and running. So number three. This is the most amazing, I have to admit. This is really superb. The first one that I went to, we were sitting in one section and then there was a section, you know, there's always a section for the celebrities. And uh, I saw one of the celebrities sitting there and I thought, Oh, he looks like him, but I don't think he's him because why would he be here? That that would never happen. I mean, so he's a celebrity and we're not. Nah, maybe it's a stand-in. Maybe it's his double or something. And finally he went to do his scene and I was watching the monitor. And when I saw on the monitor a certain view, you know, a certain angle, ha, that's him. He was actually just sitting there right in front of me. I can't believe it. We were in the same space and I could have just approached him and said hello. I actually did talk with them. They were very kind. There's been a few times when they actually took an interest in me and cared and a lot about me. There was an instance when I was working in, in the winter and we had an outside shoot pretending it was summer. Oh, man, it was freezing. It was really freezing. We we're out there for long hours. I didn't have my coat or anything. And I learned that Korean actors know how to do this. They know how to work in the cold. They have certain clothes they wear underneath and they come equipped with heating packs for their hands. I didn't have any of that and they could see I was, you know, it was freezing. And two veteran actors, they had their heating packs and they said, here, please take these. I mean, that's just so kind and generous. Some of them actually asked about me, like, what about my life and, and what am I doing here in Korea? Very friendly. Some of them sit down and eat with us. So it's very, very nice to be able to take part in this way in the Korean life. So number four, there is a side kind of a fringe aspect 
of the entertainment business, and that's called busking. I am a street singer, I am a busker. As I said, I'm a musician, and one of the most favorite locations that I like to perform in is in the street. The reason is because of the passers-by, the casualness of it. You don't have to worry about making mistakes, you don't have to worry about being an entertainer. Uh, in many other countries, busking is kind of not really regarded with a lot of respect. You're kind of looked like as a bum or as a beggar. In Korea, they really respect it. They have designated places, designated neighborhoods. When I was living in Busan, I would busk in Hyundai and other beach areas where they are designated spots. Here in Seoul, there are certain neighborhoods really known where you can go and busk and share your art, your music, whatever it is, your talent with the people. And it's highly respected which I really appreciate, but for the most part, it's really thrilling to know that this is regarded as an art form. Older people, I really appreciate that you give me tips, you appreciate this art form. So the question is whether I want, uh, what, what does my future look like here in Korea? I think that I'm really getting a lot personally out of being able to work in this field. Acting is really hard. This, I think, is really helpful to me in my personal journey, in my personal growth, I would like to continue on this path here in Korea. As long as I am able to stand on two feet, as long as they want my type, as long as they want an older person. And please, by the way, don't stereotype me as just granny and mom. Give me a chance, you know. I, I would like to be able to improve that art and give to Korea the best I can give, you know, as a foreign actor. I hope I can give back to Korea what they're giving me. Today, I talked about my own personal experiences and unique experiences in the entertainment industry here in the Korean if you like that, if you like this video, press like, press subscribe, and have a great day. Bye!